time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And where is it at? Down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. It has been 14 years. 14 years since Borat has come out with a new movie. It was his original Borat. And now here we are. 2020 election year craziness going on so of course we're gonna get some Borat and it's gonna be better than ever. I got to see a little screener of it last night and let me tell you it was a mix of of course laughter. You gotta love the Borat. He's always the funny. you never seen you know the Borat movies or the Ali G show where Sasha Baron Cohen he plays uh, Borat. His movies have a story that it follows and acting a script but then also he puts these characters into like real life scenarios real people and see how they react and of course this one's gonna be all about the trumps all about the trumps and the pinces and the rudy giuliani's all the rudy giuliani's we're gonna get to that the pecker gate that's what we call it the pecker gate <laughs> the story goes you know he comes to the u.s he has his daughter with him this time from where where's he Kazakhstan or something like that and you know, he's trying to give his daughter away for to the Trumps or and the Pences and all that as a gift, you know, because she snuck over with them to the U.S. in this crate that was a monkey and the monkey's gone and he was supposed to give the monkeys a present. That's not important. So he's playing the Borat character who loves the Trumps. He loves the premier Trump. He loves the premier Trump. The, he loves the, per, the vice premier Pence. He, he's seems like a Republican at heart and, you know, meets these characters on along the way who are like Republican. But also it's in the mix of like the coronavirus happening. So all this stuff is happening with the with the pandemics and the quarantine. And it just makes for just a f funny situation, but also at times a little dark, you know, because what we have going on now is not funny and he can put these funny spins on it, but you also see the darkness in people you know, the hatred in, in people and and the disgustingness in people. Rudy Giuliani, the pe Pepper Gate, Pecker Gate. Why do I keep saying Pepper, Pepper Now Gate. in this movie, he has his co-star who plays his daughter. And she tries to, you know, do the things that he does. She tries to, but she, she doesn't have that natural rapport and maybe wittiness and, and quickness to react to a lot of the people in like he does. I saw in the trailer when they, you know, broke into the little Pence rally and he tried to give her the woman dressed, he's dressed as Trump, and he tried to give her the woman and then the Pence, they kicked him out and pretty much arrested him. They were escorted out by the police. Well, a backup plan was to give the daughter to the Rudy Giuliani's as a gift for the, the premier Trump's, you know? And that's Trump's best friend, he Let's says. get to the Rudy Giuliani scene because it's towards the end, you know, after they go through this whole thing of the daughter, you know, getting a makeover, even going to maybe get plastic surgery because they said the Rudy, the Rudy's, you know, likes the big boobies. <laughs> the daughter wants to be a journalist. And they set her up like first she's gonna be a journalist, but also, eventually give herself to to the Rudy's. Let's break this whole scene down with with the Rudy's. That everybody's talking about the Pecker Gate. The Pecker Gate footage. The Rudy Giuliani's Pecker Gate footage. It was everything that led up to it that made just this whole situation uncomfortable. Like first, you know, they're sitting with the lights and the cameras and Rudy's over here and she's over there. And of course she pretends like to have, you know, a little you know, language barrier. She has her accent and things like that. And she acts like she's real nervous and, and everything. And you can tell right away. And, and she starts like complimenting him. Oh, I love you, Rudy. Oh, oh my father loves you. We fans and, and all this stuff. She, she's complimenting him. He's eating that up. I mean, who would? He would be eating that up. But it was his responses that just made your skin kind of crawl in a little grossness. You're like, like he was, you know, it's okay. Just relax. He's like, I'll relax you, okay? He said a couple of, I'll relax you, okay? And you're like, oh, the little smile that he gives. It's just creepy. It's creepy. I don't care if I, that was Rudy or like, uh, uh, blast me, but it, it was Jesus sitting there just being like, relax you and giving that little creepy smile. 
it just felt dirty. It did. Even leading up to it is the whole situation felt dirty. Like she would touch his knee and she's trying to bring this out of him and, you know, flirting with him and, oh, you're the wonderful touch. A couple times you saw him touching his knee and stuff and there he is just the grinning and he's, and she's talking about, you know, never been in front of the camera behind. And that's what I'm saying. He's like, I think you're looking pretty good. Like he said it like two times. You're you're looking. Oh, you're pr you're looking pretty good. You're looking pretty when good. He coughed, and they both took a drink. And you, I guess they gave them liquor or something in their cups, cause it wasn't water. And both of them, they're like, let's take a drink together. And they were obviously drinking some kind of alcohol. And I guess the interview was over, and she says, well, let's. Why don't we go have a drink in the bedroom? Like they're still filming everything. She said, let's go have a drink in the bedroom. I mean, what does that mean? Hey, here he go, grabs his drink, follows her right behind. He moved from the little inner viewing room to the bedrooms. All right? They moved from the, to have a drink in the bedrooms. He's sitting on the bed, you know, sitting on the bed. Then proceeds to ask her, like, wants to get her phone number, her address. And you're, like, sitting on the bed as she's bent over in front of him. You know, she wasn't doing it. She was removing his mic. They showed that she's removing his mic from his shirt and his pants as he's, and he has her, he pats her on the bottom. Right there, I was like, oh, like I'm just, it's grossed out, grossed out. He lays down, it seems like, and, and it seems like he's tucking his shirt and his pants. I'm not gonna, that, it didn't seem like, you know, he was doing anything else but tucking. But this is where it could grow, it's because, his hand was down there awful long time. <laughs> like, I tucked in some pants before, and you just kind of tuck, tuck, not have your, your hand in there, moving it like three or four times. I was like, oh, he he looks like he was priming something. If they would have let that keep going, I wouldn't want to see what's on the footage. They could have got the Rudy, they got could have got a little Rudy up on the camera, <laughs> all primed and everything. They could have got that. But right at that moment, here comes the boar rats busting in, and he was like, oh, get your hand out of your crumb. Get your hand off of your crumb. Talking about get his hand out of his pants. And that's when you know Rudy felt guilty because he, he first makes a noise like, what? And he jumps up and he's, you know, oh, well, I'm not saying this was illegal. He died, like, it was after, like, the boar rats come running in and was, was all, oh, she's only 15 and da, 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 da. So I'm not saying he was in there trying to be a pedo. And she was obviously like a journalist and she looked older, you, you know, and they're not going to have a 15 year old journalist interviewing them. I don't think that there was, this was anything about underage and all this stuff like they were saying, but it's just a dirty situation. <laughs> it's, it's just a dirty situation and it was uncomfortable. So it comes out Friday, Amazon Prime. You won't want to miss it because it's what everybody's talking about. All right, if you've done seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs if you're excited to see it. Let me know what you think. And until next time.